Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain electric field due to dipole. And here I'll consider two different cases of calculation of electric field. In first case, I'll explain calculation of electric field due to dipole on the axis of dipole. If you have dipole like this, then this is axis of dipole that one should know. And in second case, I'll explain calculation of electric field due to dipole on equator of dipole. So if you have dipole like this, then this is equator of dipole. So here I'll calculate electric field due to dipole in two different cases. And at last, I'll explain you how to identify electric field due to dipole for a solution of problems. So let us start this video with first agenda that is electric field due to dipole on the axis of dipole. So here we have dipole axis and let us consider observation point on the axis. So this is observation point on the axis that is point P. Now here we have this point with respect to origin and this is Z axis. So let us consider with respect to origin this point that is having distance Z. So what is the distance of plus Q charge with respect to point? So here you see spacing between two charge that is twice A. So with respect to plus Q, this much distance that is Z minus this much distance and this much distance is A. So with respect to plus Q charge, spacing is Z minus A. And with respect to minus Q charge, what is the distance with respect to this observation point? With respect to minus Q charge, distance will be total distance Z with respect to origin plus this much distance that is A means this distance is Z plus A. Now we have spacing with respect to observation point of these charges. Now you need to understand direction of electric field. See due to plus Q charge electric field will emerge. So it will go in this direction. So at observation point direction of electric field that will be in this direction. Let us note down that is E plus Q. And because of minus Q charge, electric field is getting enclosed in this charge. So at this point, electric field that will happen in this direction, that will be E minus Q. So what is the total electric field? Total electric field will be E plus Q plus E minus Q. Now what is E plus Q? E plus Q that is because of plus Q charge. So that will be K Q divided by square of the distance. Square of the distance is Z minus A whole square. And because of minus Q charge, electric field that is in this direction, that is K minus Q. So here instead of plus, I'm writing minus and Q that I'm writing over here, divided by square of the distance. Square of the distance is Z plus A whole square. Now we need to simplify this electric field calculation. So here what I'll do is I'll take K into Q common. So here in bracket we will be having Z minus A whole square minus 1 divided by Z plus A whole square. Now just do cross multiplication. So if you do cross multiplication then here we will be having Z plus A whole square minus Z minus A whole square divided by Z square minus A square whole square. Right. Now if you observe this numerator, then in numerator, see Z square plus A square that is getting cancelled. See Z square plus A square plus 2ZA. Over here Z square plus A square minus 2ZA. So Z square A square is getting cancelled and 2ZA minus minus 2ZA means it is 4ZA. And in denominator we have Z square minus A square whole square. Now let us further simplify this. So here if you observe we have Z that is distance with respect to origin. And if you consider Z which is very greater than small a. Then over here we can further simplify this. 
see if you have z that is very greater than small a so in that situation this z square minus a square whole square that will become z raised to 4 right and in this situation what will happen in this situation you will be having k q into 1 z is getting cancelled 4 small a divided by z q right now here also there are few basics that you can understand see here you need to understand dipole movement in my last video i have explained dipole movement that is spacing between two charges into charge right and direction of dipole movement that is happening from minus to plus right so here see resultant electric field that is happening from minus to plus in this direction right so here what we are doing is we are just placing dipole moment so dipole moment that is 2a into charge and in terms of direction it is 2 direction of a into charge q right so here see what will happen over here we will be having electric field in terms of magnitude it will be 2k into dipole moment p divided by distance q right and if you want this equation in terms of direction then that will be 2k direction of dipole moment divided by distance q that is how we can identify electric field along with the direction and this is what electric field due to dipole on the axis of dipole right and that electric field is there in the direction of dipole moment which is there in the direction from minus q to plus q charge right now i'll derive electric field due to dipole on the equator of dipole so this is dipole and this is equator of dipole let us consider this is y axis and on y axis let us consider one point that is observation point right now here you need to understand geometry first don't go for a calculation immediately see due to plus q charge what will happen because of plus q charge electric field that will be emerging from plus q charge right it will go in this direction it will go in this direction right let us say this is e plus q and because of minus q charge electric field that is getting n close to negative charge so it will go in this direction right it will go in this direction that is e minus q if you observe the distance with respect to charges over here then that distance is equal and magnitude of charge is also equal so magnitude wise e plus q and e minus q that is same right now here if you observe see here if you consider this angle that is theta then this component of electric field that will be e minus q cos theta and with this electric field this horizontal component over here that will be e plus q cos theta as this angle is theta right so what happens you see both of this electric field that is having this component that is getting added right so in total how much electric field that happens in this direction that is two times of e into sin theta right as per this angle that is theta so here you need to understand this see this electric field that is having component which is happening in this direction only right now if you want to calculate total electric field then total electric field that is there in this direction that is 2 e sin theta and if you observe see this is the direction and one should know dipole movement that happens from minus q charge to plus q charge means it happens in this direction right dipole movement that happens in this direction but here electric field is in opposite direction so what we will be doing is we will be considering this electric field as a negative value right now 
let us substitute the magnitude over here. So minus 2 into magnitude due to one charge that we need to find. Right. So here electric field is K charge divided by square of the distance. So what is the square of this distance? Here, see on y axis we are calculating this. So on y axis, if you say this spacing that is y, then by applying Pythagoras theorem, you can have this diagonal distance. See, this much spacing is a, this is y. So as per this triangle, here diagonal is square root of y square plus a square. And here in electric field distance is k q by distance square. So here we will be having a square plus y square that is square of the distance into sine theta. Now see with this triangle, with this triangle, this much angle is theta, right? With this triangle, this much angle is theta. So what is sine theta? Sine theta is opposite divided by diagonal. So opposite is a divided by diagonal is square root of a square plus y square. So that is how we can identify the magnitude. Let us simplify this. So this electric field, now that one can simplify as per minus 2k q into a divided by a square plus y square raised to 3 by 2. Right. Now here there are few basic things that you can understand to simplify this equation further. Here, see one thing that you can place is dipole moment P that is 2A into Q, right? So in that case, numerator that one can simplify in form of this dipole moment. So now electric field equation that will be minus K P divided by a square plus y square raised to 3 by 2. Now let us simplify denominator as well. Now here if you consider this distance y that is very greater than a then what will happen? If y is very greater than a in that situation this denominator which is a square plus y square raised to 3 by 2 that will become y cube only. Right. See, a square plus y square that will become y square as y is very greater than a. So y square raised to 3 by 2 that will become y cube. Right. So now we will be having electric field. Now that is simplified one. You see. By magnitude you can say it is minus kp by y cube. And in terms of direction also you should understand this. See in terms of direction it is minus k in the direction of p divided by y cube and one should know momentum direction that happens from minus q to plus q right so by direction as well as by magnitude i have explained how to identify electric field sometimes see in exam you may need to identify electric field due to dipole by some data so at that time you don't need to derive equations you just need to do calculation as per electric field on axis and electric field on equator. If you want to calculate electric field on axis, then on axis it happens in the direction of dipole moment, right? Dipole moment happens from minus q to plus q and magnitude wise, magnitude wise it is 2kp by distance cube with respect to origin. Here we are considering z axis, so this will be z cube. And as if you want to calculate electric field on equator, then on equator, it is happening in opposite direction to the direction of dipole moment. That's why we consider that as a negative, right? And with respect to equator, you will be observing if distance is y, then it will be k p by y q. See, that is how you need to understand electric field due to dipole on the axis of dipole and on the equator of dipole. So these are the basics that you need to take care of as and when you identify electric field due to dipole. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Thank you so much for watching this video.